Hey guys and gals, this is Alden for the MossandCrate.com. For the correction Nazis out there, the MosineCrate.com, Mosin Nagan. See, I can't say it right, I just say it the wrong way to annoy the correction Nazis. Uh, before I get into the video, don't forget the 1980 dated Bulgaria Makarov. This is a beautiful one. Let's get a close up of that. Look at that. Getting all this Cosmoline on my hands all over it. That's a beautiful Makarov. Look at that. This is a giveaway item. Uh, if you go on the website, themossandcrate.com, and click on Mac Giveaway at top, you can enter. There's no purchase or anything like that necessary, just giving it away. Um, by the way, if you ordered a Makarov, I did find about five or six of these with the Makarovs I got. They're hand whittled, I guess, or handmade wood grips, which is pretty neat. So I will be sending these out uh these two i'm keeping for me because i did you know you know me guys i kept a couple macros for myself but uh, i did get like five or six of them so i'm gonna be sending those out extra to people randomly so if you get one of those awesome <clears throat> minute into this video we're finally to the purpose of the, this video of ppsh 41 kits i got these from arms of america if you're going to ask no i did not get sent these for free or even get a discount i paid the 600 and whatever dollars just like you will if you get one Sorry about the wind, guys. The storm just pushed in. Okay, let's get right into it. Let's see here. Got a couple magazine, drum magazine. By the way, the kits come with the drum magazine, so a uh, couple drum mag pouches. I'm not sure the date on here. Man, it was hot as hell earlier, so I know the wind sucks for you guys, but God, it feels oh so good to me right now. I uh, got a typical oiler. You guys have seen that crap before. Got a sling, definitely a vintage used sling. It's got that old white powder mildew crap on it that they get on them comes right off uh, let's take a look at this drum mag let's see if we've got a yes we do got a malot leaf mark on there let's take this wax paper off it's got that oh yeah i love that smell a beautiful cosmoline smell which one day you guys will come on the mossandcrate.com and i will have cosmoline cologne for men who want to smell manly uh let's see here seven nine five one and you can see it says seven nine five one looks like a something a b a of course it's not a b a but uh anyways it's got the number and then it has the same number there which is the original number you can tell this stock has been refurbished it went through world war ii it's in way too nice of shape uh just got some cleaning crap in there you guys have seen that before obviously these are not going to come with the barrel or a full receiver because it is a machine gun and because of the barrel band which is retarded you can find barrels online they're about uh 7951 so it does match the you see the cosmoline cover there uh you can find the barrels online they're about 150 bucks if i remember right and there are places that will build these back into a semi-auto or if you have the right licensing you can build it into a uh machine gun again see here again covered in cosmoline 7951 that matches as well and you know some of this stuff is probably refurb matching which what I mean by that is during refurbishment they probably got got rid of an old number and made them stamp the matching first match them a bit of barrel shroud with front sight and let's see here again I'm sorry about that wind guys I know it sucks but it sure beats being out here 90 degrees. 7951. This is what I'm talking about when I say refurb marking. Get down here out of the wind. The original marking will be right here on the side. You can see it was scratched out. So during refurbishment, they restamped this one to match. And uh, so, yeah, it's not totally originally matching. Uh, let's see what other. Just some small parts, stuff like that. The front of the shroud. Um springs things like that are in there that i do not want to lose let's see what this is another spring it's kind of neat that almost looks synthetic 
rather than wood. All right, and the trunion, which will have our date on it. And so they said this one was a 1945, but I don't know. Does that look like a five to you guys? It looks like a looks like a, a three to me. 1943. If I can get the damn camera to focus. Yeah, it looks. That is clearly a three. So that's pretty cool. 1943 dated kit. There's our first one. Mostly matching. I'll say refurbished matching. Let's get this out of the way. Got a cool burlap bag in there. It's a cool presentation piece. Although it gets that crap all over your hands. Feel like a bunch of hair on my hands. Another stock. 2513. We'll get that out of the way. Uh, another sling. Another kit with... Oh, it's a double oiler. There you go. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at this drum. I'm not going to get this one out of the bag, I don't think. But let's see. Ooh, what's this? Interesting. Okay, so it's a Malat Russian drum. And it is, as you can see, caked in Cosmoline. But uh, this is not Russian. I think this is, you know, from probably... A, Obviously, I'm not a linguist here, uh, but if I had to guess, having seen that on Surplus before, that looks like something out of former Yugoslavia, one of the countries that make up former Yugoslavia, so Croatia or Yugoslavia, or Yugoslavia, Serbia, something like that. So uh, if I had to guess, that's probably where these kits came from, if they have those markings on them. So that's kind of interesting, kind of neat bit of history here. All right, so i got to sling all that. Let's get this out here. And again, guys, I know this is not the world's most professional video. But I kind of just wanted to share with you. This says 42 on it. That would be really neat. They started making these in 1941, the PPSH-41. And um, those are very rare. Uh, and really didn't start taking off till late 1942, if I remember right. So to have a 42 dated one would be pretty cool. 2513. And if you remember... 2513. So that matches. Let's see this here. 2513. That is matching. Okay. Most of these kits probably will not have the Russian markings on them, or if they do, they'll be scrubbed. And the reason for that, uh, and this is just, this, take this with a grain of salt, this is just based on me talking to importers and having friends that are importers and blah, 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 just being in the business, is that it's a lot easier to import things that are not described as Russian uh, machine gun kits. So they probably describe these as Yugoslavian or something like that, uh, former Yugoslavian. And so most of the kits that you'll find, they'll have a date on them. But, I, you know, I think that by 19, other countries weren't making these until after World War II. So if you see one that's like 1945 or earlier dated, 99.9% .9 sure it's going to be a Russian kit. Uh, let's see here. I don't even see a serial number on this one. Oh, no, it's right there. So this the bolt does not match, which it's okay. If it's a 1942 kit, I'm not going to give a crap. I'm just going to be excited I have something that early. Uh, front of the barrel shroud. Just the other bits and pieces. Got the front sight. Rear sight, excuse me. And then, obviously they had to cut these up so they'd be importable. So, very sadly, probably very recently, these were, you know, machine guns. Uh, let's see here. Here's the Trunion. And this is very hard to read, but that is 1942. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It almost looks like a one in the footage, but it's a two. I would love for it to be 1941. But yeah, that's that's pretty friggin' neat. So got a 1943 and a 1942 kit. So these things definitely saw action, or I imagine they would. And um, anyways, yeah, I'll get all this stuff placed out here real quick, and we can take another look at it. All right, and here's everything more or less laid out. Again, I'm sorry about all the wind, guys. I know it's annoying, but uh, just got to deal with it. Yours truly is way too cheap to get a proper camera set up, right? Not 
bad. I think that they were doing a special. I think it was like six fifty or something like that. And then for thirty dollars, you could select a date or do a date request. I did that on one of them. I just said earliest date possible. Uh, from what I'm hearing, most of them are going to be 1944 to 1946 dated. So I just got very lucky. And they didn't even know it was me, guys. When I emailed them, it was on my personal email. They had no idea it was the Moss and Crate. So don't think that they, oh, they sent you out the best stuff. Uh, I just got pure lucky here. But pretty cool. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. But if you guys want to get a legit World War II era Russian PPSH-41, Pepe Shaw, Papa Shaw, whatever. They've got them there. They've got the parts kits. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys.